A U.S. Navy Boeing P-8A Poseidon multi-mission maritime patrol aircraft was deployed to Singapore from mid to late July to participate in the annual Cooperation Afloat Readiness and Training, or CARAT, exercise. Now in its 21st year, CARAT is a series of bilateral naval exercises conducted by the Navy's 7th Fleet with several Southeast Asian and South Asian countries. CARAT participants currently include Bangladesh, Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Timor-Leste. IHS Janes embarked on a three-hour maritime domain awareness flight aboard the P-8A, which was operated by Patrol Squadron 45 on 16 July. The flight demonstrated the aircraft's low-attitude maritime surveillance and patrol capabilities in both the littoral and open ocean environment. We speak to Mission Commander Lieutenant Matt Poole, as well as Tactical Coordinator Greg Stewart, for their perspectives on this aircraft. So some of the uh, comparisons between uh, the P-3 and the P-8. The P-3 is a great aircraft, it's tried and true, it's been around for years. Uh, some of the differences with a brand new airframe and a new aircraft, however, is this aircraft, uh, we can get much higher, we can transit faster, so having the uh, two jet engines versus the four props enables us uh, to have a much higher altitude and transit to our uh, on-station period much quicker. In addition, we can carry a lot more fuel. So that extra fuel is going to enable us to transit quicker, farther, faster, to get on-station and have, a, have uh, the same endurance that the P-3 has down low. Because that's a critical part of our mission is uh, we executing on-station at low altitude uh, to accomplish our mission goals. So, in those respects, uh, the PA really brings a lot to the table uh, from a pilot's perspective. And additionally, the, uh, the increase in processing capability uh, for all the systems in the back is really a game changer as far as what we can bring to the flight and uh, how we can augment other uh, platforms, other aircraft, uh, in addition to uh, the, Na the Navy's current uh, inventory. So, in those respects, the P-8 is able to operate seamlessly, yet bring a bunch of new capabilities to the fight. The at sea phase of Karat Singapore was conducted from the 19th 20th of July and focused on a range of high-end naval warfare capabilities against subsurface, surface and airborne threats. Patrol Squadron 45 served as an airborne command and control center in coordinating United States and Singapore surface and air assets operating on and over international waters in the South China Sea. Tactical Coordinator Lieutenant Greg Stewart tells us more. Uh, with me is Lieutenant Greg Stewart, who is the Mission Commander and Tactical Coordinator of this aircraft. Uh, Lieutenant Stewart, could you tell us more about what you'll be doing with this uh, particular carrot? So for Carrot Singapore, we're invited to uh, participate with the interactions with the U.S. Navy and the, Carrot, uh, the Singaporean Navy um, as a Maritime Patrol aircraft, we're invited to participate in anti-surface exercises and anti-submarine warfare exercises. Mm -hmm. We look to increase those bonds between our navies and our relationships to uh, exercise it, exercise it into our variability into the future. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us more about uh, what the particular role this aircraft will be playing during the exercise? So the P-8 Poseidon will be participating in the uh, anti-surface warfare exercise. It's the first event we're going to be doing. And we're more of a maritime domain, uh, maritime domain awareness aircraft. So we're going to go out uh, with our radar and identify surface contacts for the Singaporean Navy and the U.S. Navy to kind of build that tactical picture of what's going on out in front. Since ships are limited to only what they can see so far out in front. So we're going to go out and identify all the contacts in the region and report that back to them and see if they need any further information out there. And uh, given that you are both you're formerly a P3C operator as well as, and now you're operating the P8, could you tell us what are the new capabilities that the P8 brings to the table? Uh, for what we're going to participate in the uh, anti submarine warfare uh, exercises, uh, that we bring an increased capability in terms of processing and greater all uh, in terms of like the tactical uh, process that we can do with the, the side of movies that we go to deploy. Uh, definitely a huge increase over what the P3 can do. Initially, the P8 was designed to be an initial replacement to the P3, but it's already shown that it can do so much more. And with the future capabilities coming online uh, in the next couple of years, that process will definitely increase, and we'll be able to use the aircraft to its full potential. Uh, definitely with the anti-submarine warfare, it's the biggest change I've noticed here for the P3 to the P8. And 
as a technical coordinator, uh, what's the greatest capability that, that, that uh, you think uh, sort of made the most difference? Uh, definitely the sound wave processing, uh, definitely some increase, and then just the overall mission systems that we use on the aircraft, the interoperability, the different functionalities that are all controlled at one station. Rather than in the Q3, you had separate stations for each functionality. And if the station went down, you're definitely hurting yourself with mission capabilities. If the station goes down on the P8, uh, we had the ability to slide those responsibilities to another station, and that operator can still carry on with the mission. It's only a minor hiccup in what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Right. Thank you. Thank you. The continued participation of the United States Navy's latest multi mission maritime patrol aircraft to Karat Singapore is part of a concerted effort by the service to support Washington's strategic shift to the Asia-Pacific by deploying its latest and most capable platforms to the region. Airborne maritime intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance is recognized as a growing market in the Asia-Pacific. As the next-generation multi-role maritime patrol aircraft, the P-8A will no doubt have been monitored closely during the exercise by two potential customers in the Asia-Pacific region. International operators for the P-8A platform include the Indian Navy, which is in the process of receiving a customized variant called a P-8I Neptune, with deliveries expected to be complete in 2015. Australia has also ordered the P-8A, with the first of eight aircraft expected to be handed over in 2017.